Hey, Brayden. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> You wanted to talk about the Annapura Interactive oh, Showcase. Goodness. Yes, I really want to talk about this. So you shared in the Discord earlier today, there was a trailer for that Stray game, which is a cat. It's the game with the cat. It's the kitty cats game yeah, in the dystopian um, future. And don't worry, we will talk about it. But I watched this whole uh, Annapurna Interactive Showcase, as they called it. Um, and Why was it, it interactive? It Well, no. <laughs> Annapurna Interactive is the, the studio. Is Why was it interactive? <laughs> it wasn't interactive in the slightest. It was a YouTube video. Um, then it's false advertising. God damn it, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> it was really damn good. Um, they showed off some really excellent looking games. Um, they gave plenty of little updates on things that they've talked about. I've sort of just condensed it into like my personal highlights out of the whole bunch. Um, but I highly recommend people go check it out because I feel like there's something for everyone here. I believe the exact quote was, this is better than half the crap we saw at E3. Ah, yes. Covered in a follow. Um, <laughs> I really oh, should Hey, move, Ashley. Thank I you. move that at some point. That's a uh, friend of Coda's and oh. mine. Uh, so. Thanks. Hi. Very nice. <laughs> um, so first thing I want to mention, um, they showed off a bunch of updates to existing games um, and they announced the first and Shaggy only from Scooby-Doo. In a cabin. <laughs> That's right. Shaggy from Scooby-Doo is coming to Annapura. God damn it. Um, <laughs> Outer Wilds, which is an amazing game that I've only just sort of discovered, um, is getting its first and only expansion. Um, With Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. He's there you, solving if, the mysteries of the space. If you've played the game, it, an expansion doesn't really make any sense. Neither does Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Incredible stuff, I love it. But um, it looks weird as hell, and I'm here for it. By the way, this is why Dan left. Because whenever he tried <laughs> to say something, I would not let something just die like Dan did. Oh, let him die. Oh, God. May he rest in peace. Um, and then they announced a bunch of new games as well. Um, I'm skipping around time codes here, so don't mind me. Um, first things first, um, if you like that Donut County game, mm -hmm. um, this one here. Um, do, 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 do. Donut County, I believe that is on Game Pass. Uh, yeah, it's on Game Pass. Yep. You can play it on your phone. It's on everything you can possibly think of. It's adorable. I loved it. It was great. This came on screen. I was like, oh man, the guy who made Donut County is making a new game. I can't wait to see what that is. And then he was like, that was really great if you're an adult or a kid. Now let's get the Freaks a game. And I was like, what? 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 So this is Neon White. Mm -hmm. um, it's described as a speed running card based first person shooter. What? what? Yep. So as you can see, at the bottom right of the screen, there's different cards depending on which gun you have. They give you different powers. It's visual novel anime as shit. And uh, it's a first-person shooter. And it's all about speedrunning through different levels. Um, Don't not count you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, I know at least one person outside of this room that will probably buy this. But what? <laughs> <laughs> What's it's... The most bonkers thing. It was the most out of left field thing I think I've ever seen. I think anyone who's listening to the podcast on this needs to head on over to youtube.com backslash hack the dino and just, just see what we're talking about here. Because I mean, like, yeah, you could look up the game, but don't do that. Go to youtube.com backslash hack the dino. Watch our video because you, yeah. you can see Ben and Anto's faces as they see what this is. Um, it's just yeah. weird. <laughs> it's real like, weird. I'm an old man. I have enough problems building in <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> like... I, 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 I can't have a first person shooter where I'm getting game cards while being an infinite runner. Yep. Yep. My thoughts exactly, because I was just like, I, I don't know who this is for, but I hope they enjoy it. It looks good. <laughs> it, I mean, yeah, visually it looks Yeah, fun. it looks great. But um, very what? creative. <laughs> and like, I think it's all set in heaven, just to add another layer. Of course it layer. is. Of course. Jesus Christ. Um, okay, next Yeah, one he's up, up there too. <laughs> that great? Oh, I, I didn't put this in the thing. Quick little mention. Uh, shout out to... I didn't know Sound Shapes was by one person. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, Sound Shapes is great. Anyone who hasn't played Sound Shapes, go do it. It's yeah. so good. I loved Sound Shapes, and this came on the screen, and I was like, oh, that's their first game. Okay, yeah, cool. And then they did Sound Shapes? Um, anyway, so the thing I actually wanted to talk about is that this game here, it's adorable. It's called Storyteller. And it's a puzzle game. It's coming to Switch and PC. Oh, it's a definite buy then if it's on Switch. Yes, like, so this you know. is perfect on Switch. Um, it's a puzzle game set in a storybook. And you just sort of drag and drop different pieces. And it looks really basic and simple to start with. But the second it gets like slightly more complex, like I'm going to jump in here. So, story of a tragedy. You make, oh, no. you make her die. And it's you set. make her die. What? 
Oh yeah, yeah. So you have to make a tragedy. So you can make it happy, but you won't pass the level. So you have to make a tragedy for it to pass. But you can do it different ways. It looks really complicated at times. So I'm going to skip to this bit. What was going on on this screen? It's great. I'm so interested in it. And I love the art style. It's adorable. Actually, this looks pretty cool. It does. It looks very, cool. It's like very a, cool. a build your own adventure type game. Not not go your own. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Shut it's up. Really it's really one of those old school Nintendo books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got them. They're just up over there. Yeah. So that's Storyteller. Super yeah, cute. Saw. Keep an eye out for that one. Yeah. They get um, for like 60 bucks now. It's yeah. fucking stupid. Totally not planning on raiding your house it. later. Next one is, uh, it's called do, 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 <laughs> Skin Deep. Uh, it, this gave me vibes of like a way less serious, like super hot kind of. Like, no, you say it like you mean it, Braden. Super hot. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's set on a spaceship and it's wacky as hell. It's very cartoony and like you get different objectives depending on, it, it looks weird. And kooky, and I feel like there's going to be a lot of like funny little bits of humor in there, like place trash here and you stand on it. <laughs> you are smelly. So it's a weird one, but you know, could be interesting. It's on the like, who knows at this point. Um, and then the two final things I want to mention, uh, one of which is Stray. So look forward to that. This one, I want everyone to go and watch this trailer themselves at youtube.com backslash hack the Uh And then after that, watch the trailer actually, because you need the audio for it. Um, a new partnership with a new studio called Ivy Road. Um, so I'm going to read this out here because this is very exciting. So Ivy Road is a new indie team founded by the creator of the Stanley Parable, which is the guy on the left there, Dave, Davey Reedon. Um, I love Stanley Parables. So this is very exciting. Um, as well as uh, Gorn Home co-creator Carla Zimonja. Um, so go like Stanley Parable and Gorn Home. Okay, I'm here for whatever these That's guys are That's a team up making. I'm yep. wanting to see. They haven't... They, they can't show off the game in any way, shape, and form, so this trailer's buck-wild weird as shit, and they just chat and... T it's really silly. You didn't they, mention uh, who's doing their music. The music is by the composer of Minecraft, <laughs> um, which is Daniel C418 Rosenfield. You can see him here on screen. Um, and they... They, the three of them just have this adorable, like, chemistry and rapport, and the humor between them is amazing. Like, I was so here for this, um, and I highly recommend everyone go check it out, because it's really fun. And whatever they announce, I'm here for. Their composer also has a really cute dog. So Very cute dog. It's if you're not it. there for the people, like, we've got you covered if you like animals too. Mm. It's a, it, I will spoil it. It's a big corg. It's very cute. <laughs> um, lastly... Uh, we saw it from one of the PlayStation reveals. Um, Stray, game about a cat. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> so Stray is a third-person cat adventure game um, in a detailed non-lit, neon-lit... Non-lit, completely, non -lit, dark. completely dark. <laughs> it's terrifying. Um, neon-lit, parasite-infested alleyways of a decaying cyber city of robots. Um, it's made by Blue 12 Studio, which is a small team from the south of France, mostly made up of cats and a handful of humans. Um, this game looks like an interesting little adventure game, but you're a cat and it's in like a cyberpunky kind of robot city where you interact with all these adorable little robots. It's pretty and much a puzzle, right? Yeah. It's a bit of like a figure out your way around this. I level. like the way they got the core aspect of a cat. Yeah. It's just you being just an pushing asshole. shit off. The <laughs> yeah. You sort of just need to just push it off until you get to where you need to go. And that normally involves getting someone to feed you. Because that's exactly all cats do. Cybercat2077. Yeah. Exactly. That's basically the game. That's it. And you get a little drone friend who lives in your backpack, which you somehow get. I don't know. It looks cute, and I'm here for it. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't come out until next year, though, so I'm glad I did drop it from my... Um, my. So you're saying you can't wait for it? I can't wait for it. Which means I can't wait for it, because cats can't wait for shit. If you try to get a cat to wait for food, my God. Good luck. Yeah, it's just a lot of screaming and claws, potentially. Mm. But yeah, that's the highlights from uh, the Annapurna Interactive uh, Showcase. I highly recommend everyone go Don't give out. your cat energy drink. <laughs> the, yeah, don't cat, do that. The cat does do energy drink. I don't know why or how, but um, cyberpunk. I'm here for it. Um, yeah, thank you. See, I was trying to come up with a cat pun about Mirapur's Edge, but yeah, I don't uh, know. Cyberpunk is, cyberpunk is way better. <laughs>